everybody, and welcome. It's another rendition of your sports report. And my camera's all wonky. That's a little better, and it's a little more on point. Hello, everybody. I am Captain Boring. Thank you so much for being here. This is your 10-minute sports report. Go ahead, like, and subscribe here on YouTube. Share with your family and friends. Go follow us on on uh, Instagram, 4th and 1. All the words are spelled out, 4th and 1 podcast. Add the podcast in there. Then finally, comment down below. Way to go, Bills. That that is right. Your Super Bowl champions in the Dynasty Franchise League that is Madden. Your boy, Captain Boring, takes home the trophy, defeating not CFB3 Roberto in the Super Bowl by a final score of 45 to 23. It was a lot closer than the score indicated. So we are heading into the off season. Go follow me on Twitch, Captain of Boring 11. That will start to pick back up here soon. And then hopefully some more surprises along the way. But comment down below. Way to go, Bills. Let's go ahead and get this ish started. Alrighty, we will start in the NBA. I'm just going to skip Friday's matchups. Here how it went. Miami crushed Chicago 112 to to 91. So they get the 8th seed. They are taking on the Boston Celtics. The Sac Romano Kings lost to the New Orleans Pelicans 105 to 98 without um, Zion Williamson. So they get the eight seed and they take on the number one seed, Oklahoma city thunder. So let's jump ahead to Saturday and here's how it went on Saturday, Cleveland, uh, the number four seed Cleveland Cavaliers take on the number five seed Orlando magic. And it went the way of the Cavaliers behind 30 points from star guard, Donovan Mitchell. 16 points added by Jared Allen and Evan Mobley. The Cleveland Cavaliers take game one by a final score of 97 to 83 to take a one game to none lead. Let's go over to the Western Conference. The number three seed Minnesota Timberwolves, who for much of the year were either the one or the two seed until they kind of fell apart down the stretch, take on the number six seed Phoenix Suns, they have the likes of Kevin Durant and Bradley Beer and Devin Booker and Yusuf Nurkic. They are star-studded to the brim. However, the Minnesota Timberwolves have Anthony Edwards. He better He's better known as the Ant. Ant Edwards dropped 33 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists to lead the Timberwolves to a 120 to 95 victory to claim a 1 to nothing uh series lead over the Phoenix Suns. Let's go back to the Eastern where the New York Knickerbockers, the number two seed, hosted what many people thought were the most dangerous team in the Eastern Conference, the Philadelphia 76ers, who won their last eight games, who got their MVP Joel Embiid back. Well, Joel Embiid had 29 points. He had eight rebounds, six assists. Tyreek Maxey had 33. He had four assists and two rebounds. However, it was Jalen Brunson who had 22 points. It was Josh Hart who had four three-pointers in the fourth quarter as the New York Knicks outlast the Philadelphia 76ers 111 to 104 to take a one game to nothing lead. It should also be noted that late in the second quarter or midway through the second quarter, Joel Embiid, who is rehabbing a torn meniscus and was out for a month, which is why the Philadelphia 76ers are that seven seed, heard it again, re-aggravated. He would come back in after halftime and finish the game. And that's mainly why they were in the game. The Philadelphia 76ers only scored 12 points in the second quarter of when he was out. They were leading by nine after one. So you can see his impact on and off the floor there. Will he be in for game two, three, four, five, six, seven, if necessary? That is yet to be seen. And then finally, back to the Western Conference. Again, this is all just Saturday. Back to the Western Conference on Saturday where the Denver Nuggets 
took on the Los Angeles Lakers. I'm pulling up uh, Sunday scores, so bear with me here. The Denver Nuggets took on the Los Angeles Lakers, and behind 32 points from Nikola Jokic and 22 points from Jamal Murray, another 19 points from Michael Porter Jr. They stave off Anthony Davis's 32 points, LeBron James's 27 points. That is the Denver Nuggets pulled away in the fourth quarter, 114 to 103. It was actually the third quarter that doomed the Lakers being outscored 32 to 18 in that corner. The Denver Nuggets, the two seed Denver Nuggets take a one game to nothing lead in the best of seven over the Los Angeles Lakers. Okay, let's flip ahead to yesterday, Sunday. The number one seeded Boston Celtics here in the Eastern Conference Finals, the Miami Heat, they got again, and they are playing like the one seed. 23 points from their star, Jason. Jason Tatum, another 20 from Devin White. Jason Tatum had a triple-double with 10 rebounds and 10 assists. Miami Heat, remember, they are without star guard Jimmy Butler, who hurt himself in the first playing game. They got 24 points from Bam Adebayo, but it was not enough. It was a 20-point L. The Boston Celtics take a one-game-to-nothing lead over the Miami Heat. Out in the Western Conference, it was the L.A. Clippers who were without their star forward, Kawhi Leonard, who was a game-time scratch. It did not matter. They got 28 points from the former Sixer, James Harden. They got 22 from Paul George, and they got 20 from Ivan Zubat, along with 15 rebounds, and that was more than enough. Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving combined for 64 points. However, the rest of the team had 33. Do the math, that's 97. And they lost by 12, 97 to 109. The Clippers in the 4-5 seed matchup in the Western Conference take game one and keep home court advantage. I have a fun fact about home court advantage when I am done in a minute. Go back to the East, the Milwaukee Bucks. This is the three-seed Milwaukee Bucks taking on the six-seed Indiana Pacers, and Dame Lillard dropped 35. All 35 came in the first half. He did not need a single bucket more. They also got 23 from um, Chris Middleton, another 15 from Bobby Portis, and they pounded the Indiana Pacers 109-94 to to claim a one to nothing. And then finally, the young and up-and-coming one-seed Oklahoma City Thunder took on the number eight seed New Orleans Pelicans, and it went exactly how you could have possibly thought. The game was close. 94-92, to Oklahoma City wins behind 28 points from their star, Shea Gilgis Alexander. 19 points, Jamal Williams added, and then Chet Holmgren also had a double-double, 15 points and 11 rebounds there. I should mention that in a weekend of hockey and NBA, every single home team won. They went 14-0, and and that was it. Every single home team in hockey and the NBA playoffs won. Tonight, game two, Orlando at Cleveland, Philadelphia at New York, Los Angeles at Denver. Those are all game twos. That's tonight, Monday. Tuesday will be game two, Phoenix at Minnesota, Indiana at Milwaukee, Dallas at LA, and then I will pick it up there Wednesday, and I will get you Monday and Tuesday stuff. Um Scores stuff, I should say. Okay, let's go to the NH. A little transition music. And here we go in just one minute. Okay, starting Saturday. Sorry, I have to open all the tabs so I can... I can get you the box score. All right. Starting in the Eastern Conference, East round one between the New York Islanders and the Carolina Hurricane. It were the Hurricane. Uh, In a three to one victory, defending their home ice, taking a 
a one game to nothing lead. New York actually had more shots on goal and more penalty minutes, but the hurricane came out on top behind. uh, I'm not even going to try any of these names because I'm not confident in that at all. Carolina, one game to nothing lead over the Islanders. Stay in the East. These are two heated rivals, the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Boston Bruins. Well, guess what? It was all Boston. Toronto had more shots on goal, 12 more shots on goal. They had one more hit. They had four more penalty minutes, but it was Boston in the first and second period. They were relentless. Jake DeBrusque had two power play goals in the second period. That was were only two of Boston's five goals. They win the game five to one. They take a one to nothing series lead there. Let's jump ahead yesterday to Sunday between the Florida Panthers and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Florida went on a run to the Stanley Cup finals last year. They look to repeat this year and they are on the way. Matthew could. Kachuk added a third period goal uh, to add insurance on the board for the Florida Panthers as they get a 3-2 victory over uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning to take a one game to nothing uh, lead there. I should note that uh, the Kachuk goal added, um, it was 3-1 to and then the Tampa Bay Lightning scored with 10 seconds left in the period so the game was pretty much over at that point. Stay in the Eastern Conference the number one overall seed in the East the New York Rangers, actually the number one overall seed period in hockey. The New York Rangers took on the Washington Capitals and they used three goals in the second period. One from their star rookie, Matt Rempe, to win four to one, taking a one to nothing series lead over the Washington Capitals. And then in the game of the day, which saw three goals in the which saw three goals apiece in the first period and three goals apiece in the third period, but only one goal In the second, the Winnipeg Jets, as I said, defending home ice over the Colorado Avalanche, got a 7-6 victory. This had loads of of goals. Kale McCarr scored once. Nathan McKinnon scored once. Valerie Nachuskin scored once, all for the Avalanche, but it was for not. Kyle Connor scored twice for the Jets. Adam Lowry scored twice for the Jets. Myle Woods scored once for the Jets. And then some other very difficult names I'm not even going to pronounce. Jets, one to nothing lead over the Colorado Avalanche there in the Western Conference. And then finally, the Vancouver Canucks, Hosted the National Predators, and you already know, 14-0 and home teams. That's right. The Vancouver Canucks win this one 4-2 behind Dakota Joshua. That's an easy name that I will be glad to say the rest of the playoffs. Go Canucks there. Dakota Joshua scored two goals in the third period. Two... And those are the two deciding goals as they win four to two to take a one to nothing series lead coming at you tonight, Toronto, Boston hosts Toronto, Carolina hosts New York, Dallas hosts Vegas. That's a game one. Another game one is Edmonton, Los Angeles Kings. That's a game one. So Toronto, Boston, New York, Carolina, those are game Those are two game twos and then two game ones, Vegas, Dallas, Los Angeles, Edmonton. And then on Tuesday, Washington, New York game two, Tampa Bay, Florida game two, Colorado, Winnipeg game two, and Nashville, Vancouver game two. And I will pick it up right there on Wednesday to get you all caught up to see who has grabbed a commanding two to nothing, excuse me, series lead. Right, baseball, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do scores. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to do standings until we get in a little bit of a rhythm and maybe pass playoff time. So for those of you that don't know, baseball is broken down into the American and National League. Each league has three divisions. <clears throat> Excuse me. The divisions are the same in each. It's East, Central, West. Okay? In the American and League East, It is the Orioles, the Yankees, the Red Sox, the Toronto Blue Jays, and the Tampa Bay Rays. 
It just so happens that that's the order of the standings. Orioles and Yankees at the top of the standings. Red Sox are two games back. Blue Jays two and a half back. Rays three games back. Still very early on, they played a grand total of 23 games of a 162-game sentence. Uh, schedule in the central guardians royals tigers twins chicago white Sox. in that order it goes uh guardians at the top royals three games back detroit tigers four games back minnesota twins eight games back chicago white Sox, worst team in the league 12 and a half games back they've won a grand total of three games and then in the west the texas rangers defending world series champions seattle mariners los angeles angels oakland oath Oakland, excuse me, Athletics, Houston Astros in that order. Uh, Mariners are half game back. Angels are two and a half back. Athletics, three back. Houston Astros, five games back. Let's flip over to the National League. In the East, it goes Braves, Phillies, Mets, Nationals, Marlins from Miami in that order. Phillies are one game back. Mets are two and a half. Nationals are four and a half. Marlins are nine and a half. In the Central, Brewers, Chicago Cubs, Cincinnati Reds, most exciting player plays on the Reds, Pittsburgh Pirates, St. Louis Cardinals. Cubs are two and a half back of the Brewers. Reds are two and a half. Pirates, four. St. Louis Cardinals, six. And then finally in the West, highest payroll team and the team that Shohei Otani plays for, Los Angeles Dodgers, San Diego Padres, Arizona Diamondbacks, San Francisco Giants, Colorado Rockies. Padres are one game back of the Dodgers. The Arizona Diamondbacks are a game and a half. The San Francisco Giants are two and a half are two and a half back and the Colorado Rockies are rounding out that with only five wins on the season at seven games back. Thank you everyone for being here. Know that God loves you. I pray God bless you. Please keep me in your thoughts and prayers. Um, as I'm just having a really tough time showing up for work every day. Thank you everyone for being here. No, God loves you. I pray God bless you. Wash those hands, you filthy animals. We'll see you Wednesday for a whole bunch of game two actions. I'll get you all caught up with until next time. Peace out.